These are the top five free SOC analyst trainings for beginners. This is going to include simulation training, cyber range platforms, beginner learning courses, and project guides to put onto your resume. And these are all free. So be sure to watch until the end to find the perfect SOC training for you. Number one is a cybersecurity job simulation where you'll be acting as an information security analyst and analyzing security alerts to respond to a ransomware attack by learning how to analyze alerts from CISA, applying that intel to reduce the risk of an attack and help recover some hacked files. So this cybersecurity job simulation is hosted on a website called Forage, and they actually have a few of these cybersecurity simulations that would work through. Some of them include phishing, some are on SOC, some are on incident response, ransomware, identity access management. There's a lot of different skills that you can learn from doing these three to four hour cybersecurity job simulations that you can also put onto your resume. And again, these are all free, so I highly recommend doing them. It's a great way to get some hands-on experience in a simulation. These are also hosted by actual companies like MasterCard, PwC, Datacom. So it's a great way to see what you could actually be doing on the job as an entry-level SOC analyst or security analyst. And if you don't have any current cybersecurity work experience, this is one of the best ways I recommend getting some experience on there. And pro tip, if you do put this experience on your resume, I would put this under technical experience rather than work experience, just to make sure there's no confusion when you do start interviewing and recruiters or hiring managers start asking you about this experience, you can let them know that it was cybersecurity job simulation experience. So you can share what this experience was and the specific skills and tools that you learned. I'll have this free training and all the other trainings I'll mention in this video linked in my description below. All right, free training number two on this list is RangeForce Cyber Range. So this is basically a Cyber Range platform, but they have a free edition of their platform specifically for beginners where you can access free technical labs and dive directly into malware labs, see how attackers hijack websites and go deeper into ransomware TTPs. So basically within the RangeForce Cyber Range, you'll get hands-on experience working with real threats in their complementary solo labs. You'll learn how to apply technical skills, use different cybersecurity tooling, and actually understanding and applying the cybersecurity concepts that you may be learning from other technical courses through their hands-on cyber range. I actually recommend this free cyber range for anyone who's interested in blue team, but also in red team, even purple teaming if you're someone who's interested in both defensive and offensive security. But for the sake of this video, if you're specifically interested in SOC analyst work, then this is a great way to understand how hackers actually hack into systems, understanding different TTPs or tactics, techniques, and procedures, which are basically the behaviors and methods that are used by a cyber attacker to plan and execute any attacks. And it also allows a cybersecurity professional like an SOC analyst to anticipate participate and defend against those attacks. And because they're using real world threats within the cyber range, you really get some great hands-on experience with cyber threats that are actually being used in the real world. Also another great experience to add onto your resume. And personally, I got some of my firsthand experience in a cyber range from one of my previous companies. We had an internal cyber range and it was a great way to actually get some experience. And that's also where we hosted a lot of CTFs or capture the flags. And nowadays CTFs are both red team and blue team focused. So just because you're interested in SOC or blue teaming doesn't mean that you're closed off from CTFs because I know CTF competitions and challenges are typically focused towards red teaming or ethical hacking, but just know that there is a space for SOC analysts in the capture the flag world as well. And this is a great way to get your feet wet, to get some experience within a free cyber range environment. All right, free training number three on this list is Blue Team Level 1's free beginner SOC training path. Okay, so Blue Team Level 1 definitely has one of the most popular entry-level SOC certifications out there, especially because it's been in the market longer than the newer SOC certifications that have been released by Try Hack Me and Hack the Box. But did you know Blue Team Level 1 also has free training, including introduction to PowerShell, introduction to Bash, Python, Blue Team Junior Analyst Pathway Bundle, Vulnerability Management, Virtual Machines, Threat Hunting, Dark Web Operations, Digital Forensics, OSINT or Open Source Intelligence, Network Analysis. If you're a complete beginner to SOC Blue Team or defensive security, then honestly, I would start here and go through this entire course. It's a great way to learn all the basics. And if you do eventually prepare for the Blue Team Level 1 certification, then you already have the foundations down. They even have a cybersecurity interview prep portion of this free course. So you can technically already start preparing for your cybersecurity interviews just through this course after learning all the foundations. So I would highly recommend checking out this course. And not only is this course just learning material, it is also very hands-on. There are practical assessments and exercises and even a capstone project for you to actually use the skills that you learn with PowerShell, you'll get to write your first Bash program, you'll get to run your first Python program, and these are all skills that you can also add onto your resume. So it's a win-win basically going through this course because you also get to put those skills into practice right away. And if you don't already have a cybersecurity home lab, you can build one completely for free. I have a video on this linked in my description as 
well. It's an eight minute video. It is very beginner friendly. So if you don't have a cybersecurity home lab, you can do this using open source tools, including Kali Linux and VirtualBox. So I highly recommend checking out that video. It'll save you a whole lot of time in messing around with different tools because it's just super straightforward. And you can use this home lab to do all of your future cybersecurity projects, trainings, and any exercises, including the ones that you would be doing from the courses mentioned in this video. So I highly recommend checking that out. Okay, so something else you have to think about if you're going into cybersecurity is how to keep your accounts online safe. This includes your social media, bank accounts, your emails, and all the data that those credentials are protecting. And this is why I recommend using a password manager, specifically Keeper Security. Using Keeper ensures that all my passwords, pass keys, and data are secure and easy to manage. And it's honestly crazy to think how many people use the same password for every single account. Keeper is my go-to password manager. And not only do they protect your passwords, but they also protect your pass keys, which are more secure and phishing resistant, which which means hackers won't be able to get into your accounts. You've probably seen the pop-ups from your phone asking to store a passkey, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. But without a password manager, these passkeys are tied to one specific device, so it can only be used on the phone, tablet, or laptop that you created it on. And that is where Keeper security comes in. Keeper allows you to manage your passkeys and traditional passwords for effortless authentication, making it easy to access all of your accounts anytime, anywhere, and most importantly, on any device. And yes, as an incoming cybersecurity professional, one of the best things that you can do to protect your accounts and stay secure online is by getting a password manager. And you can get 50% off of Keeper Security using my code with Sandra or at keeper.io slash with Sandra through the link in my description. Thank you to Keeper for sponsoring this portion of the video and let's get back to the rest of the topics. Okay, free training number four on this list is the Try Hack Me Beginner Learning Path. Now this one is just the foundations, the meat and bones. If you're completely new to anything cybersecurity, anything IT, Try Hack Me has more than 500 free labs that you can work on. Again, for free, I personally recommend this to someone who has no cybersecurity experience, who may not know what Linux is, has never used a terminal or the command line, has never even downloaded a virtual machine. This is where I would recommend starting out if you are that person or someone who has zero, zero experience. And I do wanna mention that is not a bad thing. Honestly, starting out with free trainings, like all the ones listed in this video, is one of the best ways to learn, especially if you're currently a student, because I know what you hear is probably just, yo, just go study for the Security Plus and start applying to jobs. That is, Honestly, really, really bad advice. Of course, I do recommend getting your Security Plus, but the Security Plus exam fee for just one attempt is like $400. So if you're a beginner, if you're a student, if you're applying to jobs, it's really hard to just you know, spend $400 on an exam, especially if you, if you haven't actually gotten any hands-on experience or taken any free training before spending hundreds of dollars on a certification, especially in a tougher job market. So if you want to start from the complete basics, then I would recommend this Try Hack Me beginner learning path. I know that the labs, if you have a free account on Try Hack Me are up to one hour a day, but I believe there's a loophole. If you use a specific learning mode, you can actually get free labs or longer labs. I will find the exact quote this was specifically from the CEO and founder of Try Hack Me that told me this. There is a way to get around the restriction basically that you have on a daily basis. So I do highly recommend this learning path. So I would definitely check out Try Hack Me. And as an honorable mention, Hack the Box is also a really great platform that has training labs and learning paths that you can also take as a complete beginner. There are also room and lab style. So the formatting is similar, but I find that typically students tend to prefer one over the other. I would test out both platforms and see which one you prefer or the one that you're more comfortable with and go from there. All right, last but not least, number five on this list is Let's Defend. If you've done any research on SOC or Blue Team or defensive security training, you've probably come across Let's Defend. They're one of the most popular SOC simulation trainings out there. And yes, there are free trainings, there are free courses, and they also have an SOC simulation. You'll get SOC alerts. You'll have to triage them. You'll have to dig into them. You'll have to review logs. It's basically a full-on SOC simulation, exactly what it sounds like, as if you were working as an SOC analyst. Their free courses and trainings include SOC fundamentals, phishing email analysis, Linux for blue team, detecting web attacks, building a malware analysis lab, and malware traffic analysis using Wireshark. So I do think these are a bit more higher level compared to the other courses and trainings I've mentioned on this list already. So I would highly recommend checking that out. So I think these are very valuable for someone who may already know the basics and want to look for a course that is a bit more advanced or technical using certain tools that maybe they haven't touched before. Okay, so that is it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Hopefully this was helpful, especially for those of you who are just starting out and looking for some free training or course Courses or projects. I'll also link a few other learning resources that I recommend for beginners in my description as well. Don't forget to also check out Keeper, also linked in my description. You can get 50% off your entire subscription at keeper.io slash with Sandra. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe as it really does help out the channel. Don't forget to stay connected also on LinkedIn, Instagram, Discord, also all linked in my description. Thank you again so much for watching. I post videos weekly and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!